Hi, and welcome to Mrs. Lyle's Library. This will be a weekly segment every Friday uh, where I show items from around the world that I've collected over the years to share them with you. Our first weekly segment will be my llama collection. Now llamas have been very popular for the past few years and uh, I've loved llamas for much longer than that. Um, but just to tell you a couple of things about llamas, they're one of the first uh, domesticated animals in the Americas before Columbus. There were very few domesticated animals until the Europeans arrived. Uh, and I just want to show you, they were very important to the Inca. Uh, this is actually a replica of uh, sacrifice to the mountain god uh, by the Incas. And the original is in the British Museum. I got this in Peru at the Archaeological Museum. Uh, secondly, the Incas used the llamas for transport. Llamas can carry 25 to 30% of their body weight. Uh, and one of the best places to see llamas, what they're used for today um, a lot, besides tourists, uh, is at Machu Picchu. The llamas actually help to keep uh, Machu Picchu and the jungle growth under control. And it's very cute to see these llama lawnmowers. They are related to the camel. Uh, and yes, they do spit, so watch out when you see a llama. Don't annoy them too much. Try and stay a safe distance away. The big thing that I'm going to share with you today are some llama dolls. So I'm sure that you have seen llama dolls before. Uh, this is the first one. This one I got in Peru, and uh, it is very primitive. It's very simplistic. Um, all of the llama dolls are handmade. Uh, and they're super, super soft. The reason why is they're made from alpaca fur and alpaca is softer than cashmere. It's hypoallergenic and it comes in a wide variety of colors and it's easier to work with. So these llama dolls that you see in stores are actually made of alpaca. The alpaca is about half of the size of a llama and they do spit less, so that's important. So this is llama number one. This is the typical llama that you might see in a tourist destination or in shops in the US. Uh, and they're big and they're fuzzy. So you might be wondering why these llamas are all decorated up. Uh, they wear pom-poms for festival days, uh, including the blessing of the llamas or in the blessing of the alpacas. In order to get the fur, they're sheared like sheep uh, and these earrings that you see llamas wear, they actually wear those in Peru. And the earrings are for a number of reasons. The tassels, they designate uh, not only the ownership, they designate which village the llama belongs to and also uh, the gender of the llama. So a lot you can tell from these earrings and they use that instead of branding because it seems more humane, but also it would be kind of hard to uh, brand a llama or an alpaca since they're so fuzzy as compared to a cow. Uh, this is the, the third one that I have. Uh, this one is a brown one, and I bought this in the States uh, at a shop that sells items from around the world um, because I wanted to have a whole llama family, mom and dad and and baby llama. There's baby llama right there. Okay. So uh, two things to know. Uh, a few more things to know is that uh, often you see people and their llamas on the street and attached to this video, I am going to put a video of a family, mother, father, daughter, and their llama getting into a taxi that I found. It's super cute and leave your feedback and comments and I'll see you next Friday for more of Mrs. Lyle's Library. Goodbye.